everybody, what's going on? Kyo Chan here, and welcome to another Saturday on Mission Otaku. As you guys know, we've been talking about the time frames of future, present, and past in anime and manga. We've also been talking about some of our favorites from each of those time frames, as well as our preference. To be perfectly honest with you guys, I had a hard time with this one because I generally don't consider the time frames that a series is put in. I just think about the type of series that it is, whether it's a shonen, shoujo, yaoi, what have you. Besides that, my collection is rather extensive, so I have a lot to go through. And because of that, I'm not going to show you any of the manga that go into these categories. I'll just mention them briefly when I get to each category. So, let's get into it. When I think about series that happen in the past, they generally have elements like demons, ninja, samurai, vampires, or any other mythical creatures that you generally don't see on a normal day occurrence. So some of my favorites from this category are Inuyasha, Vampire Knight and Vampire Knight Guilty, and of course Naruto and Naruto Shippuden. I like each of these series for their own reasons, but overall they're just awesome and they're worth checking out. Take Inuyasha for example. Inuyasha has a little bit of everything. It has demons, it has action, it has romance, it has comedy, and it has a great story. It really is just a classic and it's totally worth checking out. So if you haven't seen Inuyasha yet, you really should. Then there's Vampire Knight and Vampire Knight Guilty. Again, another sweet story. It has romance, it has a little bit of comedy. There's some action involved too. So it does have a little bit of everything, and guess what? The vampires don't sparkle, so this is not Twilight by any stretch of the imagination. Then you have Naruto and Naruto Shippuden. There are people who love it, there are people who hate it, and there are people who are stuck in the middle and don't give a damn one way or another about the series. But I absolutely love it. I can't get enough of Naruto, it's just a great series, and you should check it out. Give it a shot, because it really is a, a great story. Though the fillers, I can do without them sometimes. Other series that I can come off the top of my head that belong in this category that I really like are Maroni Kenshin, Yu Yu Hakusho, Our Home Fox Deity. Um, for manga, I'll go with um, Blackbird, Rama One Half, and Rene. Those are some of my favorites from the past category. Moving on to the present. When I think of series that belong in this category, I generally think of slice of life series or series that take place in the school setting. So some of my favorites from this category are Maid Sama, Special A, and Oran High School Host Club. I really enjoy these series. They're just totally awesome. Just a quick note, if you like Oran, you're probably going to like Special A too because they kind of remind me of one another on some level, so check those out. And other series that I can think of off the top of my head that belong in this category that I really enjoy are Fruits Basket, Working, Kimi Nishin Doge, and Big Wind Up. I really enjoy all these series and they're just totally awesome, so check them out. Moving on to the last category, and that's the future category. Now when I think of series that belong in this category, they generally have giant robots, or happen after a post-world destruction kind of thing. So some of the series that I thought of for this category were the Gundam franchise. This is G Gundam. I absolutely love G Gundam. There are people who totally hate it. There are some people who are kind of on the fence about it. They're like, eh, it's alright, but it's not the best. I really enjoy G Gundam. It's a good series. It's actually my first out of all of the Gundam franchise. So maybe that's why I like it, I don't know. But anyway, I have also seen Seed, Seed Destiny, and a little bit of Double O, which I hope to collect sometime in the future. And then, I don't know if this one counts, but I'm going to put S Otherwise in this category as well, because it's kind of like post-destruction of Japan kind of thing. So I'm going to go with that. So I really enjoy S Otherwise. I'll probably rewatch this a little later, because it's so awesome. Check it out. It's worth your while. I mean, it's about psychics and power struggles and it's awesome so check that out. I really can't think of any manga that go into this category. I may have some but may not even realize it so yeah I don't know where to go with that but those are my favorites in all those categories. As far as preferences go I'm kind of on the fence about that too 
because I really enjoy the past and present type series, so I really can't pick a preference between them. But if I had to choose one, I'd probably go with the past because I really do like series that have demons in it, have samurai and ninja, so that's what I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with the past, but I really do like the past and present equally. So that's all for me this week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it made sense. I think I was rambling again this week. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed and I just want to let you guys know I will not be here for the next two weeks. I am going to conventions so I will not have time to make any videos because I'm going right from one convention which happens on July 4th weekend to another one right after that. So I'm not going to be home for like the next two weeks. So, um, I will get one of the subs to take over for the next two weeks, so you will see somebody on Saturday, so you don't have to worry about missing out on a video. So, I hope you guys enjoy this, and that's it. I will see you guys in three weeks. So, have a good day, everyone. Bye!